Today's video is brought to you by Tactical Knives. Tactical Knives is your one-stop shop for knives, multi-tools, uh, e-tools, swords, all kinds of cool stuff. They are a UK distributor and they ship all over the world, including the United States, and they take PayPal. So thanks to Tactical Knives. All right, so today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Cold Steel Spetnaz E-Tool. And I'm super excited to actually be testing this thing today. And the reason why um, is because when I first got into the whole bushcraft preparedness thing, and that was many, many years ago, um, I was um, <clears throat> watching videos from a gentleman called Iowa Woodsman, and he really showed the capability of this tool. So check out his channel. He has a lot of great content actual you know actual real world use and he will show you all kinds of different ways of why this uh, particular tool is so awesome and a lot of people jumped on that bandwagon um, after watching his videos and seeing his posts on uh, bushcraft usa forum um, and a lot of my buddies uh, got these and were playing with them and um, always saw these in camp when i was camping out with my friends but for some reason i never got one and i don't know why it just never happened um, so when tactical knives reached out to me and asked me if i wanted to do some testing of, of some uh there's products that they carry um, i picked this and i picked it uh pretty quickly um, just because i really wanted to get one of these and try it out um, and see what it was all about um, and if you don't know about the Cold Steel Spetnaz shovel, um, it's a really interesting product. Um, it has heritage uh, dating way back to World War II and probably beyond that um, with German e-tools and Russian e-tools and a lot of the European um, and Slavic countries uh, use very similar tools to this. So uh, Cold Steel pattern theirs after the Russian one um, and they kind of updated it, modernized it a little bit, and made it very affordable. It's a very affordable tool. Um, and it's just awesome uh, what they've done with it because it's so simple in its design. Um, but I've seen this thing um, used many different ways and being very capable. Um, so this is my chance to get this thing out, get it dirty, and try a few things. Now, one thing... Uh, that really kind of sets this apart from standard e-tools is right out of the box these come with a pretty sharp edge all the way around um, and that what that is the one factor that kind of separates it from a lot of other stuff and I've seen guys throw these things um, consistently at targets I've seen wood processed vegetation chopped of course digging um, but it's just a very capable tool from what I've witnessed. So this is my chance to mess with it and kind of show you guys what I think about it. Um, and is it really a kind of all-in-one tool? Um, can it take the role of a hatchet, a machete, a knife, and combine it into one tool? Um, we're going to find out. So let's jump right into it and start messing with this thing. <clears throat> All right, so I mentioned uh, the sharpened edge. Um, right here we have um, a green sapling. This might be a good test to see how this chops or something like that. I'm gonna come around on this side, as I am right-handed, right here. Let's do it this way so you guys can see this. So I was at a couple chops. Of course, the, the blunt force breaks it a little bit, but that is a cut all the way through. So that definitely worked. So here's some more brush. Heck right through that, no issue. Now let's find some dry wood and see what we can do with that. 
All right, here's some dry wood that I found. A little bit tougher. Putting a nice chunk out of it. Certainly not cutting as um, quickly as a hatchet would, or even maybe a machete. That's definitely dry, seasoned hardwood. Keep going here. Well, that steel really rings, doesn't it? Take this branch off. Make that a little bit more manageable. Let's make a little um, on. Well, look how that just sunk in there. Nice. So of course the, you know, being sharpened on all sides, um, the baton is gonna dig in. Um, so that makes it a little less effective for batoning into wood, um, but it's doable. Um, it's, it's capable. It's just, it's not going to be ideal, um, but it did cut into this and break it into some smaller pieces, and that's what you want. So now, let's see. Shave some wood. I mean, it's not gonna do super fine curls like my Mora or a thinner profile knife, but you can get some chips and some beefy curls off of it. It's not bad. Break this down just a little bit more. Okay. So now we got more of an edge to work with. <laughs> oh, whoa, okay. That's kind of impressive. What about that? Do enough of those. You've got um, good tender to get a fire going. Those are nice little curls.
Now, of course, it's a shovel, right? So how's it going to do with digging? Well, obviously, you're not going to um, be digging your garden with this because of the short handle, but that's not what it's meant for. This is really designed um, for camp chores. Um, of course, the original purpose was digging a fighting position, um, and you're not going to use it in the traditional sense of standing over it and then stepping on it, even though you could probably do that, but it's awfully short for that. So this is something you're going to break up the soil. And of course, since it has these sharpened edges, um, you're going to able to break um, into roots and get those out of the way. I think you can see the roots right here. There's one right there. That's actually a good size one. And the handle is pretty comfortable. I mean, it's got the nice kind of bulbous end to it so it gives you something to grip onto it's uh, not too narrow so you got a good good grip on it cut through this big root There's another one right there. You're definitely gonna get a workout digging with this thing. But if you need to dig a fire pit at camp, um, and you're out fishing, you wanna dig for worms, something of that nature, having a shovel with you, is gonna make a life a lot easier. Ooh, it's hot, hot and humid. Welcome to Ohio, it's green hell out here. Um, so a couple of things on the shovel. Um, what's great about cold steel products, um, besides just being very well made, they're very customizable. So you kind of make it your own. I know a lot of guys will get these shovels, they'll sharpen, the edges up even more or maybe sharpen one edge to a nice fine point um, or a fine edge and then another thing that a lot of guys do and i really agree with this and it's something i'm going to do with this one and i'll do a video on it i want to strip this lacquer finish on it um it's a little slick right out of the box i mean it it, it does a great job of protecting the wood but it, it's slippery um, and it's awfully bright, you know, that bright yellow color. So oftentimes what people will do is they'll strip that finish off. Uh, they'll dye the wood. Maybe they'll burn some stripes into it just to give it, you know, an identification mark that that's theirs, um, whatever their pattern is, kind of a mountain man uh, look to it. Um, you know, wrapping it sometimes in... Uh, hockey grip tape is another great uh, way to customize it and give it some more grip. Um, I would definitely wear gloves. Should have wore gloves. That would definitely help with the grip on it and then helps, you know, just uh, protect your hands when you're working with tools. Um, but now this is the edge that I use primarily for the cutting and for the shaving of the wood and it's i don't know maybe just a little bit duller than this edge so with something like this you could easily sharpen this with a stone a file um, a puck would be a great option for this because you'd be able just to run that over that edge all the way around and you know keeping a puck with this would be a great 
option. Um, it, you know, it's definitely um, useful. It's definitely useful. I mean, it, it really showed its capabilities as a cutting tool. Um, and, you know, I'm not going to be digging a lot of deep stuff, but campfires, uh, camp, you know, Dakota fire holes, things like that, of that nature, uh, having something like this is, uh, is great. And it's so much better than the old folding military e-tool because those folding points um, are weak points. Um, this gives you a handle that is replaceable. See that? You've got um, screws in the side. So you can take those out with your, with your Leatherman, pop this out, and then if you had to fashion um, a handle in the field, um, you could do it. So this gives you some long-term capability. So this really does become a fantastic um, tool for prepping, um, going out in bug out bags, you know, survival kits, um, or just, you know, your standard camping bushcraft bag, um, having something like this. And then I would pair this with uh, a Mora, a fine Scandi grind knife, so you can do some fine work. But this could definitely handle some of your larger chopping um, needs and you can dig with it. And that's, the, that's what separates it from a hatchet or an ax. You know, you're stuck, um, which is what that tool does. You can't dig with it, you don't want to. Um, but this, you could do that. And then, you know, if you really wanna get into processing wood, of course, um, a good size silky saw uh, combined with this and you've really got um, an awesome mix of tools that are very capable and going to do probably everything you need. Alright guys, the Skeeter bugs are getting pretty bad and the humidity and the heat is not fun. Um, but I wanted to do some quick testing and show this thing to you guys. Um, thank you to Tactical Knives for sh shipping this out to me. Like I said before, they are a UK uh, based uh, retailer. Uh, they ship all over the world um, and to the United States. They take PayPal, um, which is always a, a great option. Um, very nice people. Talk to them several times, and they really want to help support the channel. They like the content, and I think it's a great partnership. So check out the link down below for them. Um, and as always, uh, please check out all the other affiliate links, Amazon and all that good stuff down below that helps out the channel. And if you like this content, please consider subscribing, um, liking, hitting that bell uh, icon so you get notifications, um, and, you know, releasing content at least once a week. And as always, I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for watching my videos, and we will see you next time on The Prepared Wanderer.